In Washington today, the John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts honored 10 teachers for their power to inspire. We asked Wyatt Andrews to tell us about one of them and the student whose life she changed. Good morning. Welcome. The first thing to know about Donna Porter. You're looking good. A teacher at Picayune Memorial High School in Mississippi. Amazing. Wow. Provides is that Porter is relentlessly heard. positive That's and upbeat. How about that? That's great. Which is why everyone knew a collision was coming with the student everyone feared. Beating people up, jumping people. A gang member on release from reform school, DJ Batiste walked into Mrs. Porter's first day of class two years ago and brazenly asked her to cheat on her husband of 30 years. And I looked up and down from head to toe, folded my arms and said, well, don't you think it's time for a change? As if you're hitting on her. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. That's pretty bad behavior. It is. So I remember thinking, I need to take a deep breath. I've got this. Got this, as in DJ goes to the office? No. I said to DJ, I said, you have charisma. And he said, Miss P, what's that? And I said, you can work a room. And he said, yeah, I can, shoulders back. Now he's like proud as a peacock. Porter had guessed in that split second that DJ was a thug only because he wanted to be noticed. So she made him the class greeter. Good morning, how you doing today? This job, he showed me, of saying hello to every classmate every day was the first positive attention he ever got in school. She actually changed my life. Changed my life. Where, where would you be now? In jail or hell. In jail or hell? In jail or hell. DJ stayed in class and graduated on time to cheers. It was DJ who nominated Mrs. Porter for the Kennedy Center Teaching Award, an award given in the name of Broadway icon Stephen Sondheim. When we showed Sondheim tape of Donna Porter and DJ Batiste, it brought tears. Why did that make you emotional? Well, you, you, watched, you watched in action what a teacher can do. Look at the pride on his face. That joy. I don't think I've ever been that happy in my life. It's the greatest accomplishment of my life. This young man. And he's going to do great things. When Porter teaches, she told us she is reading her students, watching for who needs help and who's behind. With affection, she calls them lumps of coal and believes that every one of them, just like DJ, could be her next gem. Wyatt Andrews, CBS News, Picayune, Mississippi. And that's the CBS Evening News for tonight. For all of us at CBS News all around the world, good night.